rain gets closer to Tallahassee tonight. The Florida Department of Emergency Management has moved a backup crew to Pensacola. That's just in case the state's operations center in the capital city has some issues. Our Natalie Williamson is live on Pensacola Beach tonight with that part of the story. Natalie, crew is there. They're staged a little north to where you are, but they're ready to go, ready to go east tomorrow. Yeah, that's right, Lenise. Urban search and rescue teams are leaving bright and early tomorrow to help those who have hit by Helene the hardest. Meanwhile, on Pensacola Beach, as you can see and hear, the wind is whipping through. Luckily, I'm wearing pants and a long sleeve shirt. The sand, grains of sand, small ones are coming and constantly hitting us. And I know you can't see it right now, but the waves got much bigger than they were earlier. No surfers out there right now, obviously, but a lot of big waves and people are still out here taking a look at some of these impacts caused by Helene. However, while, Pen while Pensacola has not been directly hit by this, this will make it a second time that Pensacola has dodged another hurricane. Tonight, the Gulf is angry. A large and very dangerous hurricane pushing monster waves onto Pensacola Beach. This piece of paradise escaping the worst. With double red flags, residents and visitors crowding the white sands to see what Helene had to offer. Just to see the mist on the Osprey is crazy. And we're just enjoying the beauty of the waves and the storm. Some like this person here riding the waves. And while these people are soaking in the view, multiple search and rescue teams are stationed at the Pensacola Bay Center, preparing to head east after Helene moves through. Escambia County Emergency Manager Travis Tompkins says they prepare for this year round. We're preparing to uh, deploy to Liberty County uh, to assist our sister counties over there and the state in any way that we possibly can. And back at the Escambia County Emergency Operations Center, it's all hands on deck. Firefighters, law enforcement, military support, and more gathering to discuss Hurricane Helene operations. This will become the state emergency operations center if Tallahassee goes down. So these guys or gals are playing a very critical role. Right Tompkins tells me they plan on leaving bright and early, as we said, at 5.30 a.m. tomorrow to go help those who have been hit by Helene. Live on Pensacola Beach, Natalie Williamson, Fox 10 News.